broadcast booth, Tom Davis, Rick Dempsey, and joined now by Calvin Maduro, who played for the Orioles in the early 2000s, been a scout since 2010. I want to talk to you a little bit about Jonathan Scope and the path that was taken for your help to get Scope to Baltimore. Uh, well, Scope was a July 2nd guy. So uh, we make a few trips down to Curacao and then be able to um, take out the family, you know, have dinner with the family, act, get to know the family, whole family before we actually uh, sign them. So it was a coalition between three of us. It was um, David Stockstill, um, Ernst Mayer, and me going down there and, and do the job. What attracted you to school? Um, just his quickness of his hands. He, he shows it up today in the big league still when he turns out a play. But just the quickness, how he gets the hand and get rid of the ball right away. And obviously, um, he was like 14, 15 years old and had a good arm from a shortstop. But at that age, you know, that, that, that's good. Calvin, this must be a, like a cushy little job for you to have. I mean, you get to travel Europe. You get to go through the Caribbean. Do you take your bathing suit with you when you go? <laughs> no, not really. Not really. I haven't, I haven't done that. In, it sounds in, like in, a nice in, little in, vacation in, job. Come on. All right. I mean, on a serious note. What are we looking for in Europe right now? Do you get specifics? On, are you looking for pitchers specifically, uh, infielders, outfielders, power guys? What are you looking for? Well, in Europe, actually, you know, you got players that um, twins hit it big with, you know, with the um, outfield they have right now from Germany. Um, but Europe really is nothing really big coming out of Europe. I mean, if you go to Asia, when I go to Asia, Japan, it's, it's mostly to follow the Cuban, the Cuban team, the U, U16, U15, or U21. And they have some very interesting players that hasn't come out of Cuba yet. So, you know, that's I follow the Cuban team and all that. Uh, but mostly we are focusing in the uh, Latin American area. And also, if you focus on Curacao and Aruba, the percentage from players signed to the big leagues is the higher percentage in baseball. So we put our emphasis in those two places. Now, speaking of Aruba, you're from there. Sidney Ponson made it to the big leagues. Xander Bogarts with the Red Sox Aruba, made it. Aruba, Eugene oh, Kingston, yeah. Aruba. How about the baseball down there in Aruba? Is it, is it good? I mean, is it a good star? It's actually really good, really good baseball down there. I just came back from a tournament I had down there for seven days. It was the U16 tournament. And the players you see is the same players I've been watching, but I want to see the progress. And what I've seen them two months ago to now is a huge progress. And that's what you want to see in a player when you go down and see them. Calvin Maduro, one of the real nice guys signing autographs today, scouting, as Rick would say, some of the nice areas of the world <laughs> trying to bring major league <laughs> yeah, talent. He's not fooling me. <laughs> <laughs>